Hi everyone, it's Wendy. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I thought it would be fun to play with some of my Tim Holtz ephemera bits that I have laying around. Uh, and um, most of these are um, items that were given to me by the lovely Heather Zanker. Thank you, Heather. Uh, and I thought it would be fun to just, I don't know, make some tags or tuck spots, that sort of thing, and just try and use some of this beautiful ephemera. So I have everything from numbers and um, labels, flowers, I have lots of butterflies, um, I've got some mushrooms here as well, some insects, etc. Some gorgeous flowers, my goodness. And um, and then I have a bunch of things I could use as bases. This is just a piece of extra cardstock that I had laying around. And then most of these are uh, pre-made Tim Holtz tags and just pieces of ephemera. So I thought I would use this as kind of a, a, a mass make march. Um, and this is an initiative started by the fabulous uh, Corey Dahman. And um, I thought, why not see how many of these I can do in the time I have available to me. So I think I'll start with this large one. Um, and what about, look at these butterflies. Like, what about, I could do kind of like a, have that butterfly be at the top and this could turn into like a pocket. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just not going to think too much and just do. So I'm just gonna put some glue on the back there and attempt to put that in the center. I'm just lining up those antennae with the top of the card. Let that dry for a second. Um, yeah, I hope you can see, let me just move some things out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. And I could put a pocket on that. I have some vellum around here somewhere. Just a second, I've got my, okay, I have some vellum. And I'm just gonna cut a piece of vellum to what? Let's go two and a half. And then we'll see while the butterfly is drying what, how that works out. So, I could do, put like a little pocket down here. Um, oops, I'm so sorry. I hit my, I hit my um, tripod. So I'm gonna hold that there and then just cut it from behind so that we approximate the right size. I'm probably adding more elements than I originally thought I would do, but that's fine. And then I'm just going to try and put a little tiny divot there. And we'll put some glue on the back. I'm not aiming for a particular number of pieces, but I like the idea of just doing something that I'm happy with. And that can be used in uh, uh, a journal. So, here we go. Of course, that will dry clear. I think that would be kind of fun, like so. Okay. Now, what if I know there's some smaller tags in here? Is that going to cover? Might cover a little too much of what? Um, I like these little cuties. This one's nice too. Sorry, I keep hitting the tripod. I'm not sure why I keep doing that. Uh, anyway, why not? Let me just, one second, guys. I think it's the fact that my tripod pod is sat on something. There we go. What if we take this and put something on it while we wait for all of that to dry? We have these beautiful mushrooms. I think. That would look really cute there. And do I have, I have this little butterfly. Okay, we'll take this little butterfly piece. 
And you could staple as well. I do have my tiny attacher around. That has a bit of a stickiness to the back of it. So we're going to do that. And we're going to glue this on as well. Oops. And I don't mind if it comes over the tag a tiny, tiny bit. I think that would be fine. Is that punched? I don't think it is. Let me grab my, my punch tool. There we go. So there, we've got our little tag to go in here. <laughs> That's super cute. Do you know what? While I have this out, I have this idea. How far down can we go with this? So I'm just remove that out of the way. That's the guard that keeps it. I'm going to put a couple of holes on either side of the body of the butterfly. So we've got this beautiful twine here. And what if we just take a piece of that and go in around the body. So I'm going to go, whoops, I'm going to go in here on both sides like that and then I'm going to come up the bottom like that and with the other one as well and like one, I want to make an X. So I'm going to go, I'm doubling it here, doubling my effort. <laughs> so what if I, woo, go in like that. And like that over here. And then I want to come up from the bottom so that I can tie it, I think. Like that. And I know there's a simpler way to get that X, but I like the idea that there's also these little bits here. See if there's a line across the top. And there's a line across, now there'll be a line across the bottom where I tie it. Like that. I'm just going to put a knot or attempt to put a knot in there. Like that. And then cut it. Now if I had done that towards the top rather than the bottom, those could have looked, ended up looking like antennae. But I think that looks kind of cute. Okay, so we're going to set this in here, and then I'm going to take, I'm going to take one of Tim Holt's little labels and put that there. So, very simple and effective. So that would make a little pocket or tuck spot in my journal. Right on. Okay, I'm going to try and not take quite so much time with the next couple. Let's do a couple of tags at the same time. And I'll take this bit off the front. Okay, so apologies for the lighting. It is the middle of the afternoon, but it's a very gray day here. Okay, let's see about these florals are really nice. Um, love the roses as well, or the rose. So we'll have that like that. Do we want something like a number underneath, kind of sticking out a little bit at the bottom. I think that looks good there. And here, 
You could have like this number kind of kitty corner like that. I think that works. Okay. So, apologies, that's my printer. Now we're just going to go like so. I know the edge is coming off a little bit, so I'm just going to put that there. And I want to glue any of the little fiddly bits that are actually going to end up on the tag. I'm going to end up like put those lots of glue behind. And I know there's some bits that are probably going to come off of the tag, so I'm not putting glue way over on that side. And yeah, and I like it coming off the bottom as well. So that's a very quick little Tim Holtz tag as well. Okay, I've got that. Now I'm going to grab a little, I have some, um, I have some more fibers. And I'm just going to grab a piece of fiber. And I think this would be kind of pretty to put something in here before I glue it on. So, and then that would, uh, if I put that on the right hand edge of a journal, then that would um, stick out over the side like that. So I want that kind of down here towards the bottom. Down here, I have that cascading off the side. And then here, I want that, most of it's going to be on, not all of it. So we'll put some glue here. So how's everybody doing? I hope you're well. Um, we're doing fine here. We're touch wood. <laughs> the uh, stomach flu is behind us at the moment. Uh, and uh, hopefully it stays that way. So. So there's a super cute little tag. Pardon me. Like I said, if this was your journal page, I would have that on the edge poking out. And that would be a tuck spot because they're nice and firm. So it would make for a really nice tuck spot. What else do I have here? This. Um, here's, a, here's one that's quite plain as well. I like to do kind of two things at once. Um, I don't know why, it just seems to, I find it, it, uh, it works well. Okay, let's see. I really like that butterfly there with the, with the brown. Uh, not very noticeable though, is he? Okay, I've got some flowers here. Oh, that's beautiful. Whoops, that was, nope, that was upside correct. And then we could set that butterfly there. What if, because this is nice and firm, what if we add this and it's just a tuck spot? So just put like a right angle amount of glue on it. Don't know if you can see where the glue is there. And then I'm going to set it down coming off the edge a little bit and that's good and then we can put a tag in behind it um, do I want that one there I do I think I like this one this one's quite uh, lightweight in its it's not super heavy cardstock so we'll just set it here try and center it a little bit like that. Okay. Now we've got some tags over here. This 
So what we'll do is we'll put a tag like in behind, but we will we'll have the tag so that it it can be taken out. So what if I take it? What else do I have here? I've got, okay, no, let's put another butterfly. I think I have some other insects, don't I? I've got these really nice little um, mushrooms, and I thought I put some other insects in here. Oh, I think I see a dragonfly. So I could put that dragonfly just inside that edge of that tag. Put my glue on there. Take this out and then just kind of attach them like that. And of course we could put some string or fabric or something in here which would be kind of nice. Let me see. I have some um, This is uh, ticking fabric. Apologies for the noise. And I'm just going to cut it. What if we put the ticking fabric just through like this, like that? And I have, I think I have my tiny attacher. I do. So I want to just put a staple right through the tag and that fabric. So very quickly we end up with a little tag that goes in here like that. Isn't that cute? Yeah, happy with that. So we'll do the same sort of thing here, I think. Um, do I have a large enough flower. That floral looks nice with that, doesn't it? Yeah, let's put this here. And that almost naturally has a, a right angle there. So let's do that. Like so. A little extra glue there. I don't want it to come over the edge because I've got quite a bit of glue there. So that actually looks so nice on there. Okay, we've got that. Do I want to do another butterfly at the top? I've got these. Um, ah, there's an insect. There's a bee. I wonder if that feels like it might be a little bit big. I like that one there, but I think I want to cut out a little tiny bit more around the antennae. See I'm bending the antennae a little bit, but that's okay. And then just cut in here. Now if you're a uh, someone who does a lot of inking, these are perfect for inking. I just don't do inking anymore, but that's not to say that it's not a beautiful beautiful effect. It's just it's just something I don't do anymore. Um, I had someone ask me why and I don't know that I can specifically say that there's a definitive reason other than I'm, I'm liking I'm liking how it looks without the ink as much as I like it with the ink so I've chosen not to not to do a lot of inking. So this we're going to set over here, like that. Okay, so what do we want on here? I think one of these nice tall, like I love that. I think that looks great. And you could layer a lot more than I am doing, like you could put book page and all kinds of stuff behind, but I just feel like this I like this look. And I may go back over some of these and add some stitching. Um, but uh, yeah, I really like that. Let me see, I'm going to use another piece of this. Because I think it will look really, really nice with the colors that we have here. Take some threads out. 
and whoop, pull it through, attempt to pull it through. There we go. And then I'm going to put it through the tiny attacher. I'm just going to um, take my stapler and staple that right here. There we go. And I think that looks super cute. And so then that will go in there. Just like that. Very nice. Okay, we're cooking. We are cooking. Now, let me see what else do I have over here that I might want to use. I think these two would make really nice um, tuck spots or cards. And, you know what? I do like the idea of using a butterfly at the top of this one since it's a butterfly card. Um, so the question is which butterfly do I want to use? Something is, I think I like the small one the best. So I'm going to take that and glue that up there. Oops. And attempt to center it as best I can. Love that. See the green playing with the green down there. Um, and then here, what else do I have? I have oh, another mushroom. Oh gosh, that's so pretty, that butterfly there. So pretty. Um, this mushroom would look super cute there. Do you know what? I think this one needs a, uh, or needs, I'd like to put a pocket and then add the mushroom to the front of the pocket. So, take that off. And then, where's my hole punch? <laughs> oh, there we are. My hole punch. And then I'm just going to punch a little notch. And then I'm going to attach that. How are we for time? We're good. Okay. We're going to attach that here. Got a little pocket in the front. Nice. I think I want to put this guy right back here. I might want to put like a label or, <coughs> or something behind him. <coughs> Pardon me. I take the circle. And that's upside down, okay. Put the circle like right about here. And then I'm gonna put this over top. So I'm not, like I said, I'm not sure which sets these all come out of. I know I'm pretty confident that a lot of the florals and, <coughs> and um, the mushrooms and whatnot are from a, a kit called uh, Field Notes. Um, that's one of Tim's kits, but I, I just don't know for sure uh, which is which is which. Okay, I'm just looking for some more tags. This is cute. Oh, it's nice. Is that two or is it? That's nice that you get both sides. I like that. Um, do we have another mushroom? I don't think we do, but we have this pretty, pretty floral. So I'm going to put that there because I like the um, the oranges and rusts in the flower, which make me think of mushrooms as well. Just going to set that there, like so. That's going to go there, and I'd say that one is done. Okay, we've got this. Is there something else we want it to do to it? Or not to it, but for it. <laughs> um, we've got this little circle. Could do something like um, 
put something like that on and have a tag tuck into the side. Uh, or a size tags do I have? That's a real big one. This little one is cute. Just little tiny tag. Or what else do I have? I have, that's no, just too busy I think. There's a repair tag that's red. Oh wait now. This, no, I don't like the pink. So I think I might stick with um, this one from the beginning. I like the greens in it. And I think I want to put this more down at the bottom. Uh, and I'm going to make a, a right angle and have it come off the bottom a little tiny bit. So it's going to be askew a little bit. So we've got the edges coming off, and then we're going to set this in here. Um, but what I could do is I could put that on top. No. Do I want to do something like that? That might be kind of pretty, just to stick that in there. or weight, something like that. Yeah, I prefer that. Uh, and I think what I would do is, um, let me just see if I have a um, little piece of cardstock so that I can make a, I'm just going to notch out a, a little tab. And I'm going to put this on the side of that. I think that would look kind of cute. So I just used my whale tail punch. Someone asked me um, recently where I got it. And these are really hard to find. I got mine on eBay a long, long, long time ago. And um, if you do find them these days, they're crazy expensive. So I think Tracy has a video on how to kind of punch one to look like, to have that same look. So, okay, we're just about out of time. So I am going to very quickly see about maybe doing another, um, another of these tags. And what I'm thinking would be kind of cute is just to have uh, do I have three? Just to have, okay, that one's shiny, so I'm not going to use it. And that one's shiny. All right, so I'm going to use these two in a row. Um, much the same that you see uh, that little piece of ephemera that we just put on the last tag with the butterflies, the three butterflies. I'm just going to put two of these on here give us the same sort of feel. This one's got some sticky on it. And to remember to save a little bit of time to show you what, what all we've made. And so there's two there. I don't see another one that isn't shiny. And uh, what we could do is put, oops, something like this at the bottom and I like to put it so that it's not centered and I'm going to cut that wee bit off the edge put it like that and then we'll just cut this bit off I didn't realize that these were printed on both sides that's really really pretty okay so that's what we managed to get done very very quickly so let's have a look see how much so we got this little tag very simple um, this little tuck spot this little mushroom one with the tag this one oh, that's one of my faves with the flower and then the mushroom tag it's four um, this is beautiful with the dragonfly Oops. That's five. 
This is six. This one's all attached and will look cute as a tuck spot on the side of the page. Oh, there's some. I <laughs> wondered where they got to. Uh, and then there's this tag that would look great as a tuck spot on the side of a page too. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven things in 30 minutes. That's not too bad. So thanks again for watching. Um, no, there's eight things. <laughs> and I will see you all next time. Take care, everybody. Bye.